What's going on, guys? Hi, guys. All right, so we have another Ghostbusters build, and this is going to be parts pack 13 and 14 of box three, four, box four. I can't wait to start these two packs because they are going to start making everything kind of come together. And these are what they are. So we have uh, 13 and 14. And 14 is huge. There we go. 13 is part of the frame, thankfully. It looks like the front part of the frame because it's gonna be split up. And that's where the engine sits, right on there. And then we have our coils that we're gonna be attaching at some point. And yep, so here is issue 14. And it looks like it's gonna be part of the um, the right side or left side. It looks like the springs, the uh, independent suspension on there. It looks like the axle um, brakes. Let's uh, look at the instructions and see what it says about it. So here we go. Parts pack 13, stage 13, front chassis frame and distributor. Distributor, really? Oh, the distributor's on the, okay. So I guess this one has like a distributor on the frame. Um, it's kind of weird, but here we go. So yeah, it's gonna be the front frame assembly. Um, and that is very easy. It's simply two parts that, or three parts that get screwed together. And then we go into stage 14. So we will get that out of the package and get it started right now. Are you excited about getting this frame built? It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, out of this whole build so far, out of everything that we've done, what is your favorite part of it so far? The engine. The engine? How detailed it is. The engine is very detailed, and I think so far that is my favorite as well because there's, it looks like a real engine, and you're putting parts together that are real parts to an engine. Um, you know, and it, it, it's not just a mold of you know, what stuff encompassed into it. Like it, it's so much detail and so many different little parts that you're putting together. And here's our engine right here and it, it's amazing. So, all right, we are going to get these uh, parts out of the package and start on stage 13 of our Ecto-1 build. This is all metal, so that's really cool. Um, that is awesome. That just shows you how big this thing's gonna be. All metal, and then this piece right here was also in there, and it's plastic, but it's it's fine. So let's look at this and see what we have to do, what we were attaching. Um, this parts kit only had basically um, three things that get screwed down. You have your frame, you have this piece right here, the little distributor, and then your hardware. And that's it. So that's really easy. Let's see what we have here, front chassis frame and distributor. We are attaching that little plastic piece to the underside of the frame. So you're attaching the cover right there and you're using hardware EM. And then on this part right here, we are attaching the distributor down at the bottom. And that's all, and that's all you have right there. So we're gonna get that going right now. All right, that was very, very easy. 
And actually, Charlie did all this by himself. Yeah. So, tell him what you did. So I screwed in these two. And that held down this plastic piece, right? Yeah. What else? Screw down this. Don't want to do it too tight because it might break. Yeah, it's plastic. So this piece and this piece is plastic on metal. And you don't want to tighten it down too tight because it can crack and you don't want to do that. You don't want to break the little yeah. plastic piece. So that's done. And that is all for parts pack 13. 13 was very, 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 very easy to do. Very easy. Um, simple two things, or yeah, you tighten down three things, two or three screws total, that's it. There we go. Now, we will get into parts pack 14. And this one, there's a little bit more to it. This is gonna be all of the front suspension, front suspension, can't say that word right and the brake drum and on these cars i don't think these cars had disc brakes back then i want to say it was all drum so so disc brakes um disc brakes basically it's just like just like it sounds it's a disc and you have a caliper that presses on the disc to stop it yeah. a drum brake um there's a lot of springs and there's discs on both sides inside the drum yeah. and they expand outwards and they stop the car that way. Disc brakes are more effective, they're more uh, reliable than drum brakes. Drum brakes, there's a lot of components that could easily break. Oh. So we will get going with this parts pack and start building the front suspension and brake drum. And it's gonna be for the left front suspension and brake drum. Let's get it going. All right. So here's our stage 14 parts. And we have our coil. Yeah, it is. A, this is a, like a representation of a drum brake because you can kind of see the uh, the springs and the things that would the pads that would press out and everything like that. So it's a representation of that. Obviously, they're not going to have you put together full drum brakes because that doesn't really make sense. So with the instructions so far, this is what we're working with, assembling the lower suspension arm. And we're gonna use hardware EM and we're attaching this piece to this. And it shouldn't be that hard. A um, few screws and we'll get that going right now. All right. What we did was we attached this piece right here, which kind of, I left a little bit of wiggle room in there. That way I'm not sure if that's supposed to move. If I need to tighten it down later on, I can. And then we also attach this bump stop right here. And that's all for this piece. So basically it's this piece, this piece. Now onto this next part, we have this. And we're attaching this right here. So it's gonna be the uh, upper suspension arm. So there's those, just those two pieces. And for this, you're gonna use parts, or hardware EM for both. So for this and for this. And it's gonna be this piece right here. This piece goes back here like that. And this little piece right here will go on there just like that. And we'll do this right now. All right, there we go. We have the upper control arm, actually the upper suspension arm put together. This piece right here, again, I left a little bit of wiggle room because I'm sure we're gonna have to adjust that. And then this right here, two pieces, simple four screws total we'll put that with this because that's all going to go together eventually so now we are moving down here to fitting the arms to the frame and that looks very easy again looks to be deceiving but right here you're attaching that and you're going to use hardware 
HM. So you're attaching from the top, or from the, yeah, from the top down to the bottom, just like that. And then you're gonna be using IM, four IMs for the other parts on the top. And we'll do that right now and get it done. All right, we have the upper and lower control arms done and installed. A lot of play right there, which is good. Everything moves. This is kind of your uh, independent suspension in a way that allows the tire to fluctuate up and down. So what we did was on the back side here, oops, on the back side here, you have two screws that are held inside here. And then this is held on the top with these two brackets right here, four screws. That is all of that. Now we are done with this, going on to the next page. Here we go, assembling the brake drums. So we are putting together the brake drums. We have these two pieces go together with EM, and then this piece will connect to this with three HPs, and then gets attached to the top of the frame. It'll get attached right to the top of this, this piece with JM. And we'll get this knocked out real quick, and it's coming together. All right, we have the upper and lower suspension arm attached. We have the brake drums attached, the spring and the shock absorber, if you can see in there, it's attached. Um, it's a little tricky, you have to compress the spring while you're putting in the screws to kind of hold everything down. But now everything is free to go and that wasn't too hard, um, a little tricky, but as long as you compress everything, it helps to have two people, definitely. Um, while I was compressing the spring, I let Charlie put the uh, screws in to kind of hold everything together. That way the spring doesn't just pop right out. But that part is all completed. So now we are working on, so we just did this right here, attach the spring, the shock absorber, everything on there. Over here, assembling the steering rack. So the steering rack allows the steering to turn whenever the steering wheel is turned. So there's a rod that attaches to this right here. We'll attach this to this. It'll go in. It'll attach to the uh, actual steering arm itself. That way, whenever the steering wheel is turned, it'll turn the wheels. And that's held together with HM, so that to that with HM. And then down here, it'll get attached to the actual um, suspension with, looks like KM. And then there's your finished product right there. So we'll get that going right now. Okay, guys, so we are done with everything. So we have the um, steering rack assembled. We have it on the actual car itself right here. And once the other side gets done, this will allow the steering to work. And it works good so far. I am happy. I hope the next box, we have the other side. That way we can have the front done. I think that'll look really cool. And then, yeah, it looks good. I'm happy. All right, guys, there you go. We are done with parts pack 13 and 14. And another chapter in the binder. We'll put this in the binder with the other ones. Yep. And we are now starting with our frame build. Thankfully, the motor's done. Now we're on the frame. Look at that steering wheel or the steering kind of works on one side obviously we don't have the other side built yet what do you think about this so far it's pretty cool i like it you like it 
Um, yeah, it, it came together really good. What part are you excited about most with this whole build? Obviously, we don't know what all is to come, but what do you think? What What do you think is going to be your your most favorite part of this entire build? The engine. The engine. Yeah. The engine is cool, but what else? For me personally, I can't wait to start putting the body on the actual car because then it starts looking like a car. You know, you have the body panels and. That's when you really start to see the car come together. But yeah. You still like the engine? Yeah. The engine? Why the engine? Because it's so detailed. It is detailed. But I think this whole car is going to be detailed, honestly. Yeah. Um, as much work that we put into it so far, um, it's it's so much fun. I, I am so happy that we're doing this build. You happy we're doing this build? I'm so happy. Um, it's it's fun. It, it gives us time to spend time together. It gives us time to, you know, talk as we're putting it together. Um, I hope you guys like the way that we're doing the videos now. Um, I really don't see a need of watching us screw in screws. Um, I think that kind of, if, if you want to see that kind of build, let us know. But there's other YouTubers out there that will show you step by step on how to put certain things together and they'll you know you can watch them put it together for me i think there's really no need for that but if you're interested in it let us know i mean we could definitely try that route but for that we would definitely have to split it up to where it's one video per parts pack because the time that it takes you know putting everything together like the engine when we're doing that um one of my videos, the raw time on it was an, over an hour because it's us putting stuff together and I cut all that out because it just, there's no need for it. And a lot of it's going through the instructions, making sure that it's all done right. So there's really no need for that. But if you guys are interested in that kind of um, video, I mean, we could definitely try that. But I like the way that we're doing it now because I think it makes it a lot quicker. And um, most of the times on our end, you guys get to watch the, the outcome of it, so. You like the way that we're doing it now? Splitting up the boxes into yeah. two videos? Um, I think that that's a lot easier. You're still getting good content out of it, but we're, we're splitting it up. I hope you guys like this video. Um, please like, subscribe, leave comments down below. Let us know what you guys think so far of our build. If you guys have any critiques or anything that we should try different, let us know, please. Um, and we will see you guys in the next build, hopefully soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.